Okay, so this is my airplane boarding simulator inspired by CGP Grace video, which if you haven't seen, I put the link to it down in the description. And the video won't make much sense if you haven't watched this. So this video will just show the results. I will make another video from the programming side and I'll put a link to, uh, to it in the description as well. But first, I'll quickly say a few things. So this is just a coding project slash challenge I did for myself, so don't expect anything amazing. I also left some debug stuff in there, so people change color depending on which state they're in, and also they have lines attached to them which point where they want to sit. Uh, and in my simulation, people leave their seats to let someone get to the window seat, for example, while in CGP Grey's video, they just walk over each other. So I think my simulation is kind of more realistic, but this still isn't the perfect representation of what happens in real life. Okay, let's get into it. So first we have random boarding method. All the passengers board in a completely random order. One important thing to know is that passengers turn orange when they are putting their luggage up. So exactly as in CGP Grey's video, they wait for a bit before they sit down. So in random boarding, you can see a lot of waiting is caused by already seated passengers having to leave their spots. However, people are sitting down throughout the whole plane. So no part of the plane stays what I will call unused. And this is pretty important. That's the reason why, as you will see later, back to front method is slower than this one. And because I don't want copyright issues and also don't want the shitty non-copyrighted music, when I will not talk, it will just be silent. Sorry for that. Okay, so now we have back to front boarding method. This one is the most commonly used, at least as far as I know. So this method is bad. It's not the worst, but as you can see once again, a lot of waiting is due to people leaving their seats. But in this method, all the other parts of the plane stay unused. And this is really inefficient. Now the worst of them all, front to back. So it has all the bad things back to front head, but here passengers need to wait for the whole sector to sit down. In back to front, there were some passengers from other sectors who could sit before the whole sector further back into the plane sits down. And that is why this method is even worse. There are timestamps in the description if you want to skip this one.
Windows to middle. Probably the best method an airline could use, after some tweaks, like allowing parents with children who sit with them in the same row to board together. But airlines don't really use it, and I'm not sure why. So this method is so fast, because no one needs to leave their seats after sitting down. So waiting is only caused by passengers having to put their luggage up. Now we get to the methods which aren't usable for airlines, but are fun to watch because of their speed. Steven Perfect is the first one. It's quite fast. But in my simulation, there is one method which is faster than this one. The demo's perfect. Yes, I call it like that. I heard that Steven Perfect is the fastest one, but it depends on how you test it. In my simulation, with the speed that the passengers walk with, and the time it takes for them to put their luggage up, this one is faster than Steven Perfect. Okay, that's it. If you enjoyed the video and want to motivate me to do some other programming videos in the future, you can like the video if you want. I finished the project about a week ago, but I made this video just now due to lack of motivation. I made some other programming videos on my channel, but I mostly just record less. But if you want to see more, you can subscribe. I'm planning on releasing some cycling content in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching!